Hey guys, a very good morning. Fabio here. Hope you're all doing very well. So for the ones watching and who are in my Discord server, lucky for you, we are in some very good profit um, on the Swiss yen long that we took. So props to us and good if you took that trade. If you didn't, don't worry, lots more trades to come. Um, but yeah, with that said, let's dive straight into the markets and see what is going on. Okay guys, well to begin off, of course, the dollar index. So the dollar index is currently faking out on this major swing low down below over here. And at the moment, what I'm looking for is for a potential fake out on this line or a potential tap in towards my zone for then the pullback. So yesterday, of course, you guys know I was waiting for that pullback in towards this level 92.953. Sadly, it didn't happen, but yeah, it is what it is. We did start pulling back, but essentially the bearish pressure was just too high for the dollar. So this week we have some big news announcements. Uh, of course, we have NFP on Friday. So yeah, we have to stay a little bit safe with the dollar, um, let it do what it wants to do. But at the moment, it is looking pretty bearish. So if we go in towards the daily, we can currently see that the daily candle is forming a potential engulfing. So a potential bearish engulfing. And if we close like this and we do see this bearish engulfing close um, this evening, then I do expect us to at least tap in towards the zone of 92.277. And this alongside this entire range in towards the lows, this is kind of our last area of support. Because if we do break through this zone, this is a demand zone. And essentially, this is the perfectionized, I don't even know if that's a word, but um, this is the adjust, adjusted, excuse me, demand zone. And if we do react to that, we will potentially yeah, start moving up higher. But again, if we do not, and we do start crashing down, I'm expecting a retest and then a push back down all the way into potentially even the sub 90 region. So yeah, that is the dollar for now. Um, not much to be said, to be honest. If you just look at the four hour, we're just trending in towards the lows. I was waiting for a trade from here, but sadly price didn't move up high enough. And for now, I'm just gonna be waiting to see how we react to this swing low and towards this area of demand at 92.277. So yeah, guys, with that said, let's head over to our first pair, which is Aussie dollar. Okay guys, so Aussie dollar, as you guys know, I was waiting for an intraday long yesterday from this line. Sadly, we didn't move down low enough, um, so no setup for me. But yeah, as we can see, we are now forming this potential wedge structure. So at the moment, what I do see happening is a potential short position coming in today, or at least during the New York session, potentially. And yeah, this beautiful wedge could see us reject also from this daily area of supply. So let's say we do react to this daily area of supply. I will then be looking for this short from the 618 potentially over here. And of course, an area of supply, which will then potentially be created due to the trend line break. So yeah, Aussie dollar is looking very good. Um, I'm already in that Swiss yen trade. So what I'm currently waiting for uh, before taking a trade, because I do not want to yeah, over risk or set myself into many positions. But what I want to see is how we react to this level over here. And um, I wanna see if we reject this level of, what is it, 0 0.73348. Um, so if we reject that level, we will start seeing more downside. Um, one hour is not yet that amazing, but again, if we see another one hour rejection candle, four hour close below this line, we could potentially start seeing that drop back down into what's lows. If you're too cautious and you do not want to trade this, which I fully understand, then just wait for the trend line break, retest, and then trade it further down. Uh, in towards lows. So yeah, Aussie dollar is looking very clean for today. So let's see if we can see some rejection and some potential entries. So with that said, let's head over to Euro dollar. And Euro dollar guys, so as mentioned yesterday, Euro dollar is of course creating a new high as expected. Um, yeah, really beautiful to see that we are now breaking this high over here. Big fan of it, waiting for that daily bullish close, uh, going back in towards the four hour. A uh, four hour is very messy though. Um, I was looking for a potential uh, trade but yeah the problem with euro dollar at the moment is that it's just really messy we're even forming some kind of wedge over here as on aussie dollar um the impulse in towards the highs isn't clean so it's harder to take a trade from these kind of yeah you know, on on a setup like this um what i'm looking for is potentially another daily bullish close then potentially a pullback back down in towards 1.7725 uh, so what we have is a lot of supply or potential liquidity over here and over here. These two levels, 118.368 and 118.649. Uh, 
Those are two yeah, key levels which we have to watch out for and from where your dollar could reject back down in towards lows, back down towards 1.1725. So four hour structure is becoming bullish alongside daily structure. Um, yeah, closing above this high. So it is looking good for some more upside if we can see a bullish daily close today. So with that said, uh, let's see what's going to happen. Uh, just going to be waiting for some shorts back down in towards lows if this wedge matures. So let's head over to pound dollar. And pound dollar guys, pound dollar is looking good for some further upside. Um, looking at the daily at the moment, the daily, yeah did close as a doji yesterday so indecisive candle but yeah we've already now cleared the highs on the daily going back into what's the four hour so this is the problem with all the dollar pairs at the moment they're all forming this kind of like wedge pattern but essentially pound dollar is looking more bullish in my opinion than i would say let's um let's say euro dollar or aussie dollar but for pound dollar to give us a potential trade we need to see something more clean um, the current price action is just not clean enough for me at the current moment in time but let's see how we react uh, to this trend line because at the moment we have this trend line over here. So let's see if this isn't a fake out on the trend line. Let's see a clear sustained break above this trend line. Then maybe see a potential skill in opportunity. I am still bullish on pound dollar and I do think we are going to start moving up higher. But it's just a matter of patience at the moment. Um, but yeah, I am looking for further upside on this pair back up in towards 1.38608. So with that said, let's head over to Kiwi dollar. And Kiwi Dollar, guys. So Kiwi Dollar is on a bullish run, as we can see. Um, demand has been created down below over here. So these two levels are the levels I am looking for for a potential pullback in the future. Don't think that is going to happen too soon in the near future. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to be waiting for us to push up higher, take out this swing high over here at 0 0.71052, then move in towards 0 0.71275 and 0 0.71782. Uh, from there, I will be waiting to trade the pullback back down and then take another long from either this level over here. So these 0.68438 and below or this level over here or over here. So yeah, these are kind of the levels that I'm looking to trade in between. So move up, then move down, up or move down, up. Yeah, so that's Kiwi Dollar for you. Let's head over to our last pair, which is gold. And gold guys, so gold is moving higher as of now. As you guys know, I am still expecting just a little bit of a move up higher. Uh, problem is at the moment that we are rejecting this level over here. So this is our bearish resistance, 1817.425, which could start pushing price lower alongside the third trend line touch of this ascending trend line. Um, so we could see or we could see some gold shorts from this region alongside if we look at the fib yeah look 618 fib um, so it is looking good to push down a little bit lower from where price is currently trading at um, potentially move back down into towards a double bottom before moving up higher or even down lower in towards let's say 1798 700 um, i am still waiting for gold to clear the highs up above over here but we could see some intraday yeah, bearish price movement. And then for instance, with NFP on Friday, see a real strong bearish or bullish, excuse me, run in towards the highs to clear those highs up above. So yeah, um, 18 or 1784 and 1798 are the levels that I'm looking at uh, for gold if we do push back down lower. Yeah. Okay, guys, so that was all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions whatsoever, make sure to contact me through Discord. Um, I'm closing the Discord community at 1,000 members. So if you want to join, be fast. And I wish you all a fantastic day. And let's see Swiss Yen ride to the moon. Thanks, guys.